everybody. It's Connie with Connie's Crafty Corner. Um, I hope everybody's had a great day. Uh, this is the second time I filmed this because my husband thought it would be funny to come in here and scare me. And I didn't want to give anybody a heart attack with the scream that I let out of my mouth. So, anyway, let me get started. Uh, I got my Mary Maxim in the mail. I think it was yesterday or the day before, but I didn't go check my mail till today. Um, and I'm a little confused by it because... When I first saw it, this is the third month I've got it, and I've been kind of thinking I'm going to try it for three months and then let it go, but I think I'm going to give it one more month. But the reason I'm confused is when you get the package, you know, it comes in this this bag, and this was on the outside, which I love this pattern. It's this shawl right here, and I think it's just a rectangular wrap. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but look at these pretty colors it shows right there just like the picture on the front. But when you get the bag, it came with these two, these color scapes, these red heart color scapes. This is 100% acrylic. It's 187 yards. It's a real fuzzy. It's kind of a, is it a roving? I believe it's a roving style. I've never seen this and never used it. It's colored, it's called Munich. It's a number four weight and use like a 4.5 crochet hook or a five millimeter knitting needle. And I have no idea why we got these. It's the most confusing thing to me because there's not a pattern at all that corresponds with it. So, I don't know. These will probably end up being hats for my daughter's fourth graders for next year for Christmas. But we got this, like I said. And then, what made me so excited is we got the, the, another little packet that had this on the front. And I thought that's so pretty. It's called the Trend Shawl. And the other side is I have no idea how to say that, but that's the crochet version, and this is the knit version, and I was so excited because I just think it is so pretty, and I bet it wouldn't be that hard to do, but this is not a pattern. Look, it was just on the outside of the yarn that they're advertising, which I'm sure, which this pattern calls for. That's what's just, it's just weird to me, but it's um, shades of purple, We'll pull it out so you guys can see. At first, I thought purple. My gosh, it looks pink to me until I got them all together. Then I figured it out. There you go. It's Mary Maxim Pure Cotton. And this is only 25 gram balls. And it is, ooh, 115 yards. I bet this is like a, yep, it's a number one. I love working with fine weight yarn or number one, number two yarn. Number three is my favorite. I love DK. Um, but I'm, I'm going to give this a try. I'm gonna, I guess I'll do this unless I can find this one on the website. And I bet there's a cost for it. But I love that. And it's got all those colors, those different colors in it. Um, but I, I absolutely do love this. I think it'd make a great summer weight shower or spring or something like that. But the thing I'm most excited about is I was on Etsy one evening right before I went down to see my daughter, and I was thinking, well, it might have been right when I got back. I can't remember. But I was thinking, what kind of yarn would be best for a baby? And I messaged Erica at the Lot Sighty Crafter, because I seen that she had Pima Cotton. I think she'd put out a YouTube or an Instagram post about it. And I was asking her if she thought that would be good, or what kind of yarn she suggested. And she did suggest the Pima Cotton, because I know you wouldn't want to give, put wool on a baby. And, I mean, there's some acrylics. I mean, I've already picked out some to do a little sweater out of and all that. I, I love acrylic. I know I don't talk about it a whole lot, but I do love it, and I have used a ton of it. But this is what I got right here. It's the 100% Pima Cotton. It's her fingering weight, and it's 437 yards, and it's called Shades of Spring. Is that not gorgeous? And I have gotten, as I've shown y'all, I've gotten several things from Erica in fact, right here's the Stephen King as I throw stuff. Got that. This is the sock. Came with a little other one. And I've got, where's my other one? Oh, I got this Beetlejuice. Cannot wait till I start making socks again. I tried and I stopped. But she makes, so, this is self striping yarn. Um, anyway, I've got something else, but I think it's over on the other wall. Um, but I love, I love dealing with her. I was messaging her, and she's so quick to get back. And she even offered to custom dye some stuff if I needed it. So, um, but the funny story about getting all three of these, I was wanting two because I always like to get two in case 
I start something and think, oh, I want to hold it together or, you know, I have a project and I'm afraid I'm going to run out. I have this fear of running out of yarn, which I know is ridiculous. It's ridiculous because you can always make things work. But she only had three available and I felt sorry for the third one, so I had to order it. I couldn't help it. Um, but also, I want to remind you guys, I've got a giveaway going that I announced on my Whip Wednesday video this past week. I've reached 500 subscribers, and I want to make sure that you guys know about it, and you go up there and check out that video, and it'll tell you what to do, and you just leave the comment under that video, not this one, and I am going to be drawing Wednesday of next week. I forgot to tell you guys when I was going to be drawing. Now, next week... I, I don't know how my filming is going to be and how my videos will be because Mama's got three doctor's appointments. One Tuesday, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So, it's going to be very hectic. Getting her ready to go somewhere is an ordeal in itself. It's less going somewhere. So, um, I may be here and there, but I will definitely be on Wednesday to announce the giveaway winner. And as, you rem as some of you may know, I'm giving away two skeins of this, the Flex. Um, this was the limited edition that Michael's let out. It's the bigger skeins of it. It is uh, 590 yards. And this is probably at 79% acrylic and 27, 21, you know, if I could add, I'd be dangerous. 21% polyester. And this is the color pink. And like I say, I've got two of these. And I'm going to add a bunch more goodies with it. I just don't know. I know there'll be more yarn and there may be some notions. I really don't know what else I'm going to put with it. But... I am doing a cleanup of this room. And with that being said, I'm thinking about filming before and after. And I've just got to get my guts up and my bravery up a little bit to film how terrible this looks. Because I'll run down here, grab something, run back upstairs. Run down here, throw something in here, and run back upstairs. And I've got to get things a little bit more organized. Because I'm organized by nature and this is driving me insane. But um, I'm thinking about filming the before and maybe some of the during and then the after and show you guys. And it may take me two weeks or three to get it done. But I'm thinking about doing that because I love watching people's organization and, you know, straightening up videos and decluttering videos and stuff like that. But anyway, my eyes are twitching for some reason, so I think it's time to go. But I hope everybody has had a great weekend. I don't know if this will be up before the weekend's over or if I'll get it up Monday. But I appreciate uh, all of you guys and have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.